Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Matsuri playing cards soon to be printed from Cardamundi. All right, Matsuri playing cards. This is a Kickstarter right now out on Kickstarter. So if by the end of this video, of course, if you are drawn to these cards, I would definitely recommend you head on down to Kickstarter and check these out. This is a custom Japanese festival themed deck designed by the Revelation Workshop. And it's their hope that once these are printed, they will be on Cardamundi's True Linen B9 finish. Now the theme of these cards is of course Japanese culture, especially Japanese cartoons, which you know was very popular uh, in Hong Kong back in the 90s. You have shows like Digimon and Pokemon and Beyblade. Uh, those things were everywhere when kids were growing up, just like they are now in America. And so the designer of these wanted to take all those characters and then have them work and attend a cultural fireworks festival. Things like working in booths, eating traditional foods, selling items, and of course wearing traditional kimono. Now, naturally, this is a prototype that we're looking at today, and so uh, sometimes design changes, artwork changes as things are going to print, so it's very possible that the completed item that you purchase will not look exactly like this prototype, but we'll take a look at it. The front of the tuck case is all done in this beautiful Japanese iconography. One side says True Linen B9 Finish, and the other side says Designed by Revelation Workshop. The top simply says Matsuri, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The back design features the iconic flower of Japan, which is the cherry blossom, and it's all set against a Japanese paper texture background. You'll also notice a very thin, super pencil line poker border. Now this is the completely custom deck. Suits, pit placement, court cards, everything. Uh, you're not gonna see anything familiar. This deck has been completely reworked from the ground up. All of the different suits actually represent different things in Japanese culture. The diamonds are represented by the tatami, and uh, that is a Japanese flooring material. The clubs are represented by the magatama, and those were beads from prehistoric Japan. The hearts are represented by the nine-tailed fox, which was a mythical creature. It's also a Pokemon. And the spades are represented by the Uchiwa, and that is a Japanese fan. The court cards then are all done in this Japanese cartoon style. They all represent different festival workers. You're gonna see people selling dumplings, people in the shooting gallery. You're gonna see ladies in traditional dress. There's even a guy selling masks. And then lastly, your two jokers are represented by the Oni. You're gonna get a large one and a small one. Uh, this is a type of Japanese ogre, or let's say it's a troll. Like most Kickstarters, there's the opportunity for add-ons, and so there's also the possibility that you could pick up the Matsuri coin. This coin has been milled to have four little hidden animals in the back of it and you can have a fun little opportunity looking through it to see if you can find them all. Like I said, this deck is a prototype, so we can't talk about card thickness or quality or anything like that. Uh, these decks haven't been printed yet. But like I said, if this is something that speaks to you, if you like the art and you wanna back this, I would definitely head on down to Kickstarter right now and back this today. Give them your support. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.